Yo, nation, nation, let me tell you something. This year, we're going big. This year, we got goals and dreams to achieve here on the Not Nation channel. Now, personally, within the next year, I would love to double the subscriber base on this channel. So that means only one thing that is up to me to provide that content for you guys on a daily basis to get there. But I'm also holding you guys accountable for sharing, liking, and subscribing to this channel as much as you can. The content that's here, I'm bringing it out to the people around the world to recruit more members of the Not Nation. And it is you guys that I thank and respect. I am so grateful for having um, such an awesome audience coming here on a day-to-day -day basis. Every time I upload, I click that upload button. There seems to be... I know some people wanted to really watch these videos and then that means the world to me. So to you guys, I love you all. What we're talking about today, Juice World Dreadlocks, Juice World R&B hip hop rapper guy with the weird, not weird, but with the, with the good dreads actually, the dreads actually looking pretty good. Uh, last video we did was about a year ago. So let's hop in today and see what his dreadlocks are looking like on an update. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. Yes, sir, Juice World looking like just looking like a crazy guy. Gerard A. Higgins, better known as Juice World, American rapper, singer, songwriter. Best known for his single, All Girls Are The Same and Lucid Dreams, born December 2nd, 1998, age 20, 21 right now. Chicago, Illinois, is worth $6 million. Hey, he's, got a, he's got a lot of worth on him. Um, just looking at his locks here real quick. Um, a little bit of an older photo, but we see Juice World's dreads like pretty freeform. We don't see anything happening down by the roots of his scalp. Um, in terms of twisting, in terms of interlocking, in terms of crocheting, seems to be pretty thick and pretty strong. Even got some Congos happening down here, making his dreads come together. And they're actually pretty thin. So it's actually a good thing that he lets them Congo up a bit to show us you know, that stronger locks exist within the Congo, bongo, natty. Here, uh, we see a lot of hair dye going on, bleach blonde, blue. Again, this is damaging to your hair. Um, to really understand what is going on in your hair when you bleach it and dye it, you're essentially stripping everything out with the bleach, everything in your hair, the color, um, I guess different, like this, the, the, the basic structure of your hair, you're taking it all out, which really weakens your hair because it has no sustenance. And then with the dye, you're adding in another bunch of more chemicals that further damage and weaken your hair. So it's no wonder why people's hair start to fall out and break once they start dyeing it too much especially and you see it with women their hair gets really thin and wispy because they dye their hair so much and essentially you should just let the sun do it as, as best as you can let the sun dry your hair and dye it uh, more than anything um, so juice world's dreads are actually pretty unique because of the fact that they're all different length throughout his hair he does do these random ponytails on different ends of his head as well which is a, a pretty cool look. And we do see that he has high topped it as for the rest of the rap world these days. Um, if we look here at his Instagram page, what do we really notice? Well, we kind of notice that his hair hasn't changed a whole lot within the year. What I do see is that there's a lot more new growth of natural color showing that he's not dyeing his hair as much as he used to be. 
and we also see that the high top is still going on down here it's still shaved and the roots actually looking a little bit thicker than they did before also his hair looks to be a, a bit less plentiful in this cover opposed to what there was at the beginning stages but we still see that he's doing these side ponytails uh, pretty interesting way of rocking his hair actually and tips uh, still very blunted I just want to see some more length really on a lot of these rappers a lot of a lot of people are wearing their hair really short all the time kind of looks like little Uzi in this photo here here again we see the side ponytails that he's kind of got going on a little bit of color still in his hair hoodie hooded up this photo here actually showing that his hair is was still very blonde and grungier at this point oddly enough the color matches his plaid jacket pretty well here and I like this photo here because it really shows a scalp now whether this is build up or a little bit of flakage happening in here he does have a little bit of something going on and I mean that's fine as normal anyone with dreads does have some build up happening in there anyone with hair has flakes and build up happening in there from time to time it's a pretty normal situation and I like to see a photo this photo is kind of cool. It shows how his hair kind of flops. Now this could be from the ponytail that he had in there, but he just, he just tends to keep his hair at a very similar length over the years, or it's quite possible that his hair just grows. Cause um, we do see that from time to time, people with type four hairstyles are on the end of slower hair growth, opposed to like say someone like myself that has type three. And between type 3 and type 4, there is often a speed difference in how fast it grows. I don't know why this is. It's kind of a phenomenon on my behalf that I don't really understand. But it does happen. It does freaking happen. So um, definitely shout outs Juice World. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan uh, of a lot of his songs. Pretty unique style. And uh, I wish all the best to anyone following Juice World's journey, even wanting to get a hairstyle like him. I haven't heard anybody ask me, say, how do I get dreads like Juice World? Um, so it actually makes me think that his hairstyle is actually one of the most, one of the more unique dread sets out there at the current time frame. Um, just wish he didn't bleach his hair so much. Other than that, dreads look lit. Fire, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely appreciate you guys stopping by watching this channel. Like I said, try to double the subscriber count this year. So like this video, share this video with your friends and, you know, try and recruit some people to Not Nation. Because that's what we do. We're the Naughty Nation. We like to uh, show you guys how not to get dreads, how not to grow weed, how not to do everything in life. Because I'm not. And I like to do tutorials. But anyways, what I realized is this channel is mainly dreadspiration now i know there's a lot of dreadlock channels out there that show you tutorials on how to do dreads and how to do your own styles and whatnot but i realized my purpose here on the internet is to exist solely to provide content that inspires new dreads to come into the game and also to show current dreads their dreadication matters and that they can continue to be inspired. That's what we're really trying to attain here. New dreads and the same dreads to stay dreaded. So I do that with just creating content, whatever comes to mind that I feel like you guys might enjoy. And I always appreciate you guys leaving comments down below. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. And, um, and that's how it is. So until next time, peace out, one love, stay happy and natty. And remember the language of thankfulness. Be grateful for everything that you have, people around you in your life, and show somebody today how much gratefulness you have for them in whatever way that you can. Until next time, I'm signing off, not nation, not locks. 
I'm out, that guy.